What is metacognition? How does it apply to AI agents improving over time? And how can we use it to our advantage when building AI agents? We're going to answer these questions in the ninth lesson of the AI Agents for Beginners course. In this course, we take you from concept to code covering the fundamentals of building AI agents. In this short video that follows along with the written lesson, including translations and code samples that you can find at the link above and below this video. But let's start by defining what metacognition is, which is thinking about thinking. But how does that apply to AI agents? So AI agents can use data and analysis to identify errors and make improvements in its planning and responses. This enables improvements over time, which makes them more unique from a basic application using an LLM or simply making API calls to different services. While this is a growing field of research, an impo but an important one, because it allows agentic systems to be more transparent on its reasoning and decision-making, making it more adaptable to changing environments and improving the accuracy of interpreting the data for of their environments. So, but, but to put this in real terms, let's say we have a booking flight and we ask an agent to book the best flight. And best can be defined by our preferences, such as being cheap or convenient, or just with our favorite airline. Where metacognition comes into play is enabling the agent to reflect on this decision of how it's defining the best flight, as well as including preferences of the customer going forward as a pattern for making decisions in the future. This also requires designing the system in a way to gather that feedback, store it, and retrieve it later on for future interactions. And as preferences change, an AI agent should be able to adapt to these changes and be able to communicate why it has changed its and its setting based on that. And while your preference might be just to listen to me talk about this topic, I know there are some of people out there who also prefer to see this concept in code. So let's head over to our code editor and see how this works. Okay, so this is now as a chapter nine code sample. Uh, again, this code sample is available at the GitHub repo at the top and at the bottom of this video. In this example, we want to kind of sort of mimic what some of the qualities around meta, uh, metacognition is. And in this case, uh, we're going to kind of focus first on the agent instructions that we define. So we have some, you know, function calls that will kind of come into play here. But we also want to uh, have the agent maintain basically a customer preferences object. So this starts to mimic uh, it kind of tracking again customer preferences over time. In, in the production or in a, a larger application, maybe this object is stored somewhere else and the, the agent is actually reading that. But we're going to just kind of have it kind of maintain this in memory or in context of the conversation that's going on. In this case, we're going to make sure that we track the preferred flight times of the user. And we want to make sure also that before it, it suggests anything or ask a, a user for the preferred time, that it goes back to this object, it reflects essentially on that information on interactions in the past. So again, makes it a bit more of a streamlined experience for uh, using this agent uh, versus you know if you're booking something at, on, you know on a UI and you have to kind of continue to select these things. So in this case, we're going to have uh, user inputs here. Basically, say book me a flight to Barcelona. Uh, we're going to prefer a later flight, and this should mimic a conversation with an AI agent. So if we run this code, you can see some of the examples. Uh, so first is you know, book me a flight to Barcelona. And naturally, the travel agent's going to ask, you know, what is your preferred time to uh, for flights? Uh, they're going to the user's going to come back and say prefer later flights. And this is going to make a function call to get those flight times. Uh, and again, since it has again one of the you know, powers of using large language models is being able to interpret natural language. So it's going to say, you know, out of all these flight times, I just got returned. Uh, which one's the later flight time? And in this case, it's the 10.45 p.m. flight. So this is going to cut different to where, what we might have been experiencing just using a regular flight booking application. Uh, and then the user's going to say, you know, this is just too late. I want the earliest flight. So it's going to make the call back again just to get the flights that are available. And it doesn't need to do any sort of, uh, you know, calculations on the 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 time differences or whatever the available times are, the differences between what was suggested first, because it can also now pick in the earliest flight, which is 8.30 a.m. 
And just some added benefits here. Um, we have uh, you know, a request for more activities, and then the user is sort of stressed out about the amount of time uh, that they have. So again, it's kind of having um, in context here that the user is actually asking that they want to leave uh, after the last flight. So again, we know that the, the agent has uh, ac acknowledged that the last flight is 10.45 PM. So keeping that context and that sort of cognition in terms of, okay, well, I know this is the last flight, so I need to build an agenda that's going to fit in within the first flight to Barcelona and the first next flight out, essentially. Uh, this will then will go in uh, and kind of make a defined structure of uh, a flight plan because the customer is stressed out, they won't have enough time. And again, operating within those confines. So that's kind of a, some bits of metacognition here in terms of just operating with the context of the conversation. But let's say we want to sort of mimic making a new conversation, but we're still going to use the chat history from last time uh, to make sure that uh, the agent knows some of our preferences as a, a customer in terms of booking flight. So in this scenario, we're just going to say, book me a flight to Paris. So in this case, what we'll go into is the book me flight to Paris. It's gonna make the flight call function call again to get the flight times. And then based on your, since they're based on your previous preferences for later flights, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and suggest the later flight time, which is 7.15 PM. And as, as, as kind of good in instructions, we all make sure, you know, would you want to book this flight or would you like to look at alternative times? So this again shows you some hints of uh, some of the benefits of metacognition uh, uh, in terms of you know using the agent to take preferences or long-term memory uh, and kind of apply that into an improved customer or user experience over time. Um, this is just scratching the surface of metacognition. I do encourage you to look at the written chapter as well. This shows you a little bit more of some of the samples and benefits of metacognition. But that's close chapter nine, and we'll see you in chapter 10. Thank <laughs> you.